All right, in this video for the part 107 test review, we're gonna be talking about airport operations. We're gonna be doing that by looking at two practice problems. This first one says, while monitoring a CTAP frequency, an aircraft announces they are midfield left downwind to runway 13. Where is the aircraft in relative to the runway? In this problem, CTAF, we can go ahead and describe that as the common traffic advisory frequency. And this is basically the radio frequency that pilots use when an airport doesn't have a control tower that sort of tells them where to land. Okay, so this is plane-to-plane -plane radio communication. And we're going to go into each of the parts of this description to figure out where this aircraft would be relative to a runway. So the first part I want to get into is what we're describing as this left what does it mean when a pilot says they're left? Well, this corresponds with the traffic pattern. So in most airports, um, unless otherwise noted somewhere, airplanes should be following what's called a left-hand traffic pattern. Its opposite would be the right-hand traffic pattern. So this means that when a plane is turning, left hand means that they will be turning left. Right hand means they'll be turning right. So you'll see as the plane follows this downwind path, when they get to the base leg, they turn left. And then once they get out of the base leg, they turn left again to enter that final leg. Versus in the right hand pattern, as the pilot is going down the downwind leg, they turn right to enter the base leg and then they turn right to enter the final leg. So it's really important to clarify whether you're doing left hand or right hand so that you don't crash into another airplane near you right that would be disastrous so like if this pilot said that they were doing right hand they went down the downwind leg and then they turned left and said what if there's a plane here that wasn't expecting them to be there and they crashed into it right so super important that airplanes are consistent in what direction they turn in so when the pilot here says that they are left we mean that we're using this left hand traffic pattern Next, we have downwind. So downwind, I sort of mentioned it previously. Downwind corresponds with, with this path here where we're following the path of the wind. So typically airplanes, they lift off and land against the wind. Downwind means they're following the path of the wind. So here you can see the wind is going this direction and the downwind leg is following the wind. So we know that the airplane is on this leg as opposed to the base leg or the final leg or the departure leg. If we go back to midfield, what that means is it means that you're at the halfway point of the runway. So here that would probably be here somewhere, midfield. So on either end of you, you have an equal amount of the runway all right so we've got the first three words down in this phrase now we need to talk about this runway one three situation we're talking about i think it helps if we look at this from a compass perspective typically when a plane is landing they'll see some number so here for example if i'm a plane and i'm landing i see this 27 that means that we'll, we're going to be landing in the direction of 270 degrees so they drop off one of the zeros so for example if i was flying in the direction of 170 that would be airport 17 uh, if i was flying in the direction of 240 degrees that would be airport 24 notice how you also say each of the numbers by themselves you say 24 as opposed to 24 here you can kind of imagine there's just an extra zero there they just truncate that and this translates to the plane draw plane plane landing like this so we're headed in the direction of 270 degrees and the cool thing, since this is a compass, a circle is 360 degrees. So to get the runway number from one end of a runway, you either subtract 180 or you add 180. So here, this is runway nine. Nine corresponds to 90 degrees. If you add 180, you get 270. 270 degrees, you subtract a zero, you get runway 27, right? So the same is sort of true here where if you're if you're landing on runway four you're headed in the direction of 40 degrees if you're landing on runway 22 you're landing in the direction of 220 degrees the description that we got was we are landing on runway 13 that means that our plane is going to be going in the direction of 130 degrees so if we draw out our runway it's gonna look like this 
draw a 13 here so our plane when it's on the final leg will be going this way as i mentioned before here is our down wind leg this would be our base leg this would be our final leg so if our plane is midfield left downwind so midfield remember that means that we're in the middle of the runway we've got the same number of runway in front of us as we do behind us left corresponds with the direction in which we had to turn when we were going downwind so since we're turning left to get onto the runway we know that our downwind is going to be on this direction as opposed to here so if this was midfield right our downwind would be to the right of our runway but since it's left it's going to be on the right okay downwind corresponds to where the airplane is at that moment so our airplane is here right now okay and then we're asked where it is relative to the runway so in this case we would be east of the runway our final answer would be that we're east of the runway based on this description that the pilot has given us. So let's see if that is one of the answers. It looks like it is. So we go ahead and circle it. The aircraft is not to the west. This would be true if we were we were following right hand traffic pattern, but we're not. And the aircraft is not to the north. One way that that could be true is, for example, if instead of downwind we were on the base leg for example then we would be north of the runway so here's another practice problem go ahead and pause the video and see if you can figure it out yourself and then continue the video and i'll go through it so the question here is what is the heading of an aircraft if the pilot announces left downwind for runway one six and then we have three descriptions here so once again let's go through the different words in this phrase so we have left that means is we're going to be following the left hand traffic pattern so anytime we turn we're going to turn left we're downwind Remember what that means? That means that we're following the direction of wind and we're on runway 16. So that means that when we finally land, we will be landing in the direction of 160 degrees. I think it helps if we map out our runway. So that's roughly what our runway would look like. We have a 16. Once again, left downwind. So that means when we turn, we're going to be turning left. And we're downwind. That means that the wind is going this direction we are in the downwind portion of it so our plane is going to be here so for downwind we're headed for a direction of 340 degrees we're flying in the direction of 340 degrees right so the correct answer here would be 340 with these problems it can be really really helpful to sketch this out but if you want sort of a really simple way to figure out the heading if you're downwind off of a runway uh, you basically either add or subtract 180 degrees. So if you're between 0 and 180, 0 and 180, then you add 180 degrees to get your heading downwind. If you're on the other side of that, if you're 180, hmm, let's just call it 190, you round to the 10th. If you're uh, 190 to 360, then you would subtract 180 degrees to get whatever heading you're going on downwind. And you can see that applies here because we're trying to land on runway 16. If we're downwind, we just add 180 degrees, we get 340. Downwind, we're headed 340. This would be true as well if this was right, because then you would just grab this and move it over here, and you would be turning right. Okay? So um, that is how you solve these kinds of airport operation problems. Make sure you know the difference between left and right hand traffic patterns. Make sure you know the different legs of an aircraft landing. Make sure you know what these runway 16, 1718, etc. What those numbers mean in reference to where you're landing and what direction you'll be heading as you're attempting to land.